Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're working on Anatomy of a Mix number three. The song is I Remember by Drive By Angels. Today, part one, we're gonna show you how we prep a session for mixing, how we set up our IOs, how we import from our mix template, and how we get it organized and out of the way so then we can sit down and mix creatively. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments below. We'll try to get back to each and every one of you. And also, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate your support. And hit the notification bell so we can let you know when more videos like this come out. And if you dig the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks again. Okay, so we have a Pro Tools session here. And I already color coded it and I already organized it in the order that the tracks would be in for the way I like to work. And I renamed it right before we started. So let's import from our mix template. Shift option I is import session data, mix template 2020. I want my markers and I want everything in the session. So this is all gonna come in slowly. Now what I did before the session started, I went into my IO setup and I deleted everything. So this will come in nice and clean. And the whole key to this is being prepared before preparing your template, preparing your session. After we get all this import stage in, it's not gonna take super long to actually bring up the song and get it going. Session notes. So there's a lot of things missing in here. So we're gonna open the IO setup. And what we wanna do is we wanna check this box, apply to all, and we're gonna import settings from the mix template. And now we should have everything that we need, all our outputs. I have 32 outputs going out to my through my Lynx Auroras into my dangerous summing mixers. I have two, so that's 32. Uh, inputs, we don't need any of these except the one for the Burl B2 Bomber, which I print back through. And the buses, let's rearrange those a little bit so we can see better. So as you can see on my buses, I have buses to my, all my aux submasters, kicks, snares, drums, metal, which would be cymbals, overheads, hi-hats, toms, drum ambience, percussion, basses, etc., trem guitars. So this little bit of organizing now, you'll see why it makes things much, much faster. Okay, so now it's updating the IO path. So everything seems to be in order. Now we're gonna take some things and move them into their proper place. So we're gonna start from the top of the session, which is our VCAs, our AUX submasters. And we're gonna take all that and move that up. So here we go, moving that up to the top of the session. And the only thing above it is the actual final mix that we had previously. Uh, mix FL and mix FL, uh, FL print is if I wanna print a whole mix to a flanger. So I'm gonna hide that and make it inactive. Time, now what is that? Hoffa, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, has a plugin called Time, and it helps you keep track of uh, how long your session's running. It has a clock, that's all. So it gives you the date and the time, and I like to save this, and I can just screenshot it and send it to my clients if, if we're working by the hour. So I'm gonna scoot that off to my other screen. All right, so here we go. We're gonna make active our VCAs, our side chains, and all our subgroup masters and any effects that go with them normally. Okay, so we're gonna make these active. You'll see over here on my markers, I have all the session markers for the arrangement. Then I have these show hide markers, which will let us see different aspects of the session so I don't have to fly up and down this long list of tracks. Well, we sit here, I have delay compensation on because I'm running parallel processing as well. And I have an HDX system. I have two HDX cards and one UAD Octo card. So I have a lot of processing power and, and available outputs at my disposal. The drums start in the second verse, but I'm gonna start this from the second chorus and make a, a loop out of that. The other thing I wanna do is, I wanna have one global marker so I can see all the tracks. So I'm gonna click track visibility and I'm gonna click selection so it's not tied to any time in the song. And I'm just gonna call it show me. So this will show me 
everything that's in use. And I'll update that occasionally through the session.